In this video, we are going to see how to create Google Calendar events from new Notion database items. So here, every time a new database item is created in Notion, which is a note-taking web-based web application, so here automatically an event would be created with the details that you have received here on Google Calendar. Now, how can that be done? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Notion and your action application would be Google Calendar. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. And as I do that here, we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. Now here my objective is every time a new database item is created in Notion. So let's say that I've got a seminar. What I'm doing is I am filling in the details of all the registrants who have applied for the seminar. And now I want that every time a new database item is created there, then automatically the same person must be added to an event created in Google Calendar with the same name. So I'm going to name it as create Google Calendar events from new Notion database items. Now let's click on create. As we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens. Action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application is going to be Notion. So I'm going to click on this. Now the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make my workflow run. So this would be new database item. Here on the right hand side, you can see it is written that this trigger will check for new data in every eight hours, which basically means that this trigger application has a polling time of eight hours. So the workflow is going to run after every eight hours to fetch for new data. Now I'm going to click on connect. And as I do that here, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Notions account. So I'm going to select add new connection, connect with Notion. I have already logged into my Notions account. And here you can see it is asking me to access to Public Connect workspace, which I've already created in Notion. So I'm going to first select the pages and let's say that I'm going to select all the pages. So I'm going to just allow access. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful, which basically means that Notion is now connected with Public Connect. Now here we have to provide a database ID. So I'm first going to take you to my Notions account. And here, these are the various pages that I have created. And you can create your own page by clicking on this plus icon. So I've created a specific page. The name is PCP Seminar Registrants. And here I have got the name of the person, then email address, phone number. Then we have the title of the seminar, the description. Now, what is the start date and time and end date and time? So I've got this information here and I've also filled in some data. This is some random data. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Here you can see that it has already captured the ID of the project that I'm working on the page basically, which is PCP seminar registrants. So you can select you know anyone here and now i'm going to click on save and send test request as soon as i do that the last data that was filled there i've got the response of the same so this here is the start date and time as i take you down this is again the start date and time this is the seminar title then we have got the description which is importance of integration and automation then again, here we have the phone number. This here is the last name. Then we have got the due date, basically end date, end date of the seminar. And again, here you can see this is the end date. And then we have the first name and the email address. So once we have received this information, what is my objective? To create an event in Google Calendar. So I'm going to choose my action application as Google Calendar. Here it is. 
and the action event here would be to create an event. Let's click on connect. As I do that here, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Calendar account. I'm going to select add new connection, sign in with Google. I have already logged into my Google Calendar account. Here I'm just supposed to select the account. Once this is done, I have to provide the access. Let's click on allow. This is absolutely secure. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now, once this is done, this basically means that Google Calendar is now connected with Public Connect. And here, see, the calendar has already been selected. Now, we have to map this information. Now, what is mapping? So, as I click on this, now I need the title of my event. So, I want to make sure that the title of the event is the same as the title of my seminar. So, I'm going to go to the previous step and here is the response. As I scroll down, now here you can see integration and automation. This is the title. So I want an event to be created with the same name. Then we have got the description. So again, as I click on this and I write description, so you can see importance of integration and automation software in current scenario. Now this basically process, this process is known as mapping. So mapping is that I already have this information in the previous step and I'm just going to retrieve it here. And why is it important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. If I had written integration and automation manually, so even for the new workflow, it would have taken integration and automation only. So it was stuck with the manually written data. That is why we have to map so that the new data can be taken care of. And that is why mapping is important. So here I have mapped description. Now comes the location. So if you wish to add this you can do that i'm going to leave this blank then we have the start date and time now here the start date and time so let me show you start so here we have received the start date and time in this particular format but here we are asked to provide the time in this format which basically means that i have to now change the format of my date and time using a feature by pavli which is date time formatter so i'm going to add an action step over here and this time the application will be a feature by Pavli, which is date time formatter. And here, what do I want to format date with time zone? Let's click on connect. Now here, first of all, I'm going to map the date that we have received. So again, I'm going to go to the previous step and this is the start date and time. Now, what is the from format? So here, what is the from format? This here is the from format, right? Now, the next thing is the to format. I want it in this particular format, which is, this is the format. And now, what will be the from time zone? This will be Kolkata, Asia, Kolkata. And the to time zone here would be UTC. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as I do that, here you can see we have received the response. Now, I'm going to do the same for end date and time. So again, I'm going to add another action step here. We are choosing date time formatter. The action event here would be format date with time zone. Let's click on connect. Now the date here would be end time. So this here is the end time. Then we have got the from format, which is this. And then we have got the to format, which here is this time zone. So I'm going to change it from Asia Kolkata to UTC. Okay, let's click on save and send test request. And here we have received the information. Now, basically this UTC timing is five and a half hours ahead of our basic Asia Kolkata time. Okay, now I am going to refresh this connection once again, save this. And here I'm going to map this information, the start date and time. So I'm going to step two. This is the start date and time. Then for the end date and time, I'm going to step three. And this is the end date and time. So again, we have to select the time zone. So since I have changed my time zone from Asia Kolkata to UTC here also, I'm going to select UTC. Now the visibility is public guess. So here I'm going to add the email address of the person. So here it is. And finally, the event recurrence rule. So you can use this tool to generate the recurrence rule example. This is how you have to mention it. So if you want to create a one time event, use the rule this one. I'm just going to leave this blank and click on save and send test request. As I do that here, we have received the information. So which basically means that now 
an event must be created in our Google Calendar. So let me show you. What is the date? It is for 10th of February. So this is my Google Calendar. Let's go to 10th of Feb. And yes, here you can see that an event integration and automation has been created here. The time is 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And we have this one particular guest, which basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Here we are not going to check this in real time as the trigger application has a polling time of 8 hours, but this is how the integration will take process. Let me show you what we have done. So here our trigger application was Notion. The event was new database item. Then our action application here was Google Calendar where the event was to create an event. Here we have used a feature by Pabli which is date time formatter to format the date along with the time zone. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.